Who is the best fighter to come out of Dana White's Contender Series? How did debut contract winners do in 2022? And who is up next in 2023? Welcome to the channel. Comment below who you think is the best UFC fighter from the show and stick around to the end of the video to see a list of all the Contender Series fighters making their debuts in 2023. The two fighters with the most wins since signing with the UFC through DWCS are Sugar Sean O'Malley and Brennan Allen, both with eight UFC wins. The Sugar Show began his UFC run in 2017 and is currently the highest ranked DWCS fighter sitting at number one at Bantamweight. Signed on season one in 2017, Sugar is 8-1 with a no contest in the UFC and is expected to have a title shot later this year. While Brendan Allen has flown more under the radar than O'Malley, Brendan was signed on season three in July of 2019 and has already fought 10 times in the UFC, going 8-2. Jeff Neal, Grant Dawson, and Ryan Spann are all tied at seven wins and five finishes in the promotion, and all have big fights on the horizon. Tied at five finishes, we have O'Malley, Brennan Allen, Jeff Neal, Grant Dawson, Ryan Spann, Alonzo Menafield, and Johnny Walker. Everyone except for Grant Dawson and Sugar Sean are booked in early 2023, and I'm sure one of these guys will separate themselves from the pack and pick up a finish. As we take a look at who is still undefeated with three or more UFC wins, we have Grant Dawson standing alone at the top at 7-0-1, with Yanez and Muniz at 5-0, Tracy Cortez at 4-0, and Jeff Molina, Jack Della, Jailton Almeida, and Caio Bojalo behind them at 3-0. I'll quickly run through the best fighters from each season, as we have O'Malley with the most UFC wins from Season 1. If you asked him, he'd have no losses and an extra KO from the Pedro fight, but in all seriousness, Sean is a high ceiling, in my opinion, and he could definitely keep adding to those eight wins on his resume. At five UFC finishes, we have Sugar Sean, Jeff Neal, and Grant Dawson. These guys have been carrying the torch for DWCS fighters since 2017, and all are currently ranked in the UFC Top 15. Season 2, the season of the light heavyweights. Ryan Spann is 7-2 in the UFC with five finishes and has a big main event versus Nikita Krylov on February 25th. A win ties him for the most UFC wins for a DWCS fighter, and a stoppage puts him at the top for most finishes. Johnny Walker has five wins in the UFC, all by finish, and Alonzo Menafield has six wins with five inside the distance. Johnny's next fight is versus Paul Craig at UFC 283, and Menafield takes on Jimmy Crew in Perth at UFC 284. The lone leader in both categories, Brennan Allen Allen, has the most UFC wins and finishes from Season 3 fighters. Brennan is 8-2 with 5 finishes in the UFC and is currently on a 3-fight win streak. While he's not ranked right now, he does have a fight booked with another Contender Series guy, the 11th ranked Andre Muniz, coming up in February. A win puts Brennan in the top 15 and solidifies him as one of the best DWCS signings. Alright, we move on to the Season 4 leaders. With 6 wins since resigning with the UFC through DWCS in 2020, Dustin Jacoby has accumulated a 6-1-1 UFC record, fighting eight times in just over two years. Mr. Dr. Pepper, Adrian Yanez, leads his Season 4 peers in UFC finishes with a 5-0 record in the promotion, four wins by knockout. Yanez is positioned to jump from unranked to the top 10 as he is set to face the number 6 bantamweight Rob Font in April. Season 5 marks the shift from current contenders into the top prospects as we have guys like Jailton Almeida, Jack De La Maddalena, Caio Bajalo, all having massive debut years, going 3-0 in the UFC in 2022. Jack and Jailton both had three first-round finishes and earned themselves Rookie of the Year shoutouts from around the sport. Caio isn't booked yet for 2023, but Jailton Mahojinho is set to face the number 14-ranked heavyweight Shamil Abdurahimov at UFC 283, and JDM is fighting rude boy Randy Brown in Perth at UFC 284. To wrap up our season winners, Waldo Cortez Acosta leads season 6 and wins, putting up two UFC Ws in less than a month's time. While he beat Chase Sherman and Jared Vendera, we can expect Salsa Boy to show us what he's capable of this year. Only seven season 6 contract winners debuted in 2022, and these are the four who started their UFC careers with a finish. Joe Pfeiffer, Francis Marshall, Raul Hosas Jr., and Cameron Simon put their names on the map and set the bar high for their season six peers. Out of the 200 fighters that have been signed to the UFC through DWCS, only two have fought for a world title. Alex Perez and Tyler Santos both lost in their attempt at the belt, 
but Jamal Hill has a good chance to become the first DWCS champ as he is a minus-125 favorite over Glover at UFC 283. It would be really sad to see Glover lose in Brazil, but the crowning of the first DWCS champ would definitely be cool to see. As we take a look at how well the Contender Series fighters did debuting in 2022, they had a combined record of 26-19, and 19, a near 58% win percentage. Now this is better than what I expected due to the amount of people online who seem to routinely pick against or fade the Contender Series debuting fighter. Maybe it's because this is coming from bettors who feel that the lines are inflated from the hype, but favorites winning nearly 75% of their 27 fights shows that the UFC is either matching these fighters well for their debuts, or they just got a good group in 2022. If we look back at past year's debut results, in 2020, DWCS debutants went 15-12, and 12, and most recently, they went 7-14 and 14 in 2021. 26 and 19 isn't the best, but it's still respectable considering the goal of the show isn't just to sign superstars. So here are all the 2022 debutees listed and their closing lines, which I got from DraftKings on bestfightodds.com. I was impressed by so many of these fighters in their debuts. Michael Morales hasn't been mentioned yet. Azamat Mirzakhanov is a beast. Javid Bashra, Mike Malat, Karina Silva, Christian Quinones. There's just too many to list, but comment down below who stood out to you the most in 2022 and who you think has the highest ceiling. All right, we're at the end of the video, and to wrap up, here is a list of the announced DWCS debuts coming up in 2023. Six of these fighters are debuting on that February 25th Span vs. Krylov card, but to highlight a few that I'm hyped to see debut, we got the Bonfim brothers in Brazil at 283, Jack Jenkins in Perth on February 11th, Nazim Sadyakov, Nurelo Aliyev, Esteban Rybovic, Cedricus Dumas, and of course, the man himself, Mr. Bo Nickel at UFC 285. There's too many prospects to mention, but let me know down below who you're excited to see debut this year. Thank you for watching. Shout out to Big Marcel24 on Twitter for the fight announcements. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more fighter stats. Peace.